Hello friends. Now today we are going to see the next topic from the unit number five, right circular cone. Okay. So let us see the diagram of right circular cone. So basically, the right circular cone is generated by two lines. One is called as the axis, and the another one, the another line is called as the generator line. So when we rotate the generator line about the axis by keeping the fixed fixed angle, which is called as a semi vertical angle, the diagram that you are going to get is called as a right circular cone. Okay. Now the intersection of intersection of this generator line and the axis is nothing but the vertex. Okay. The vertex is very important. The vertex is nothing but what? It is the intersection of axis and the generator line. Okay, now the diagram that you are going to get at the here at the base is called as the guiding curve, and guiding curve in a right circular cone is always a circle. Okay, so the basic idea to get the equation of the right circular cone is uh, the formula that we have seen in the last lecture, cos theta formula. So how to find out the cos theta if you know the drs of the two lines suppose the drs of the two lines are a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 then the formula is cos theta is equal to what cos theta is equal to a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 upon root of a1 square b1 square c1 square into root of a2 square b2 uh, a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square okay so let us start with the first problem so here we want to find out the equation of right circular cone whose vertex is 1 minus 1 2 okay the vertex is given to us axis is the line x minus 1 upon 2 equal to y plus 1 upon 1 equal to z minus 2 upon minus 2 and the semi vertical angle is 45 so remember always while solving the problems of right circular cone you need three things the very first thing is the vertex second thing is the drs of the axis and the third thing is the semi vertical angle theta now in this problem we are having everything we are having the vertex we are having the ds of the axis and also we are having the um, theta theta is also given theta is 45 over here okay so how to find out the equation of right circular cone so always you have to take one point p x y z is the arbitrary point you have to take it on the surface of the cone now if you look at this line vp this line vp now we can find out the drs of this line vp with the help of if you remember if we have two points on the line how to get the drs x2 minus x1 comma y2 minus y1 comma z2 minus z1 will give you the drs of that line so here the drs of the line vp this line vp line is nothing but what x minus one y y my y plus one and comma z minus two by simply subtracting and the ds of the axis how we are getting the ds of the axis so if you look at the equation of the axis this is the equation of the axis the numbers that we are having in the denominator is nothing but the ds so ds of the axis are two one minus two remember if you have an equation of a line the numbers which are there in the denominator are the ds of that line okay so here the drs of the axis are 2 1 minus 2 so now we are having two lines one is the axis and one is the mm, generator line now with the help of cos theta formula we can easily find out the angle between them okay so let us see that so cos theta cos theta is equal to here theta is given it is 45 so which is equal to cos of 45 is equal to a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 upon uh, the under root a1 square b1 square c1 square into under root a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square so here these numbers are nothing but your these are nothing but your a1 b1 c1 and this is your a2 b2 c2 so when you put that values over here okay and we know that cos of 45 is 1 upon root 2 put that value over there and simply then what you have to do is you have to just cross multiply here you are going to get 1 upon root 2 okay then simply cross multiply this into this this into this and take the square on the both the side when you take the square and cross multiply 
and when you simplify it you are going to get this as a equation okay so it is very simple so simply you have to make use of the formula of uh, cos theta cos theta is a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 upon under root a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into under root a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square okay it is quite simple let's move to the next problem find the equation of right circular cone which passes through the point 112 has its axis at the line 6x equal to minus 3y equal to 4z and the vertex is at origin okay so <coughs> here again as i told you we require three things while solving the problems of right circular cone the very first thing is the vertex second thing is the ds of the axis and the third thing is the semi vertical angle so in this problem what we are having we are having the vertex because the vertex is the origin so it is 0 0 they have given you the equation of the axis but in this form but we need a equation of the axis in the form x minus x1 upon a equal to y minus y1 upon b equal to z minus z1 upon c because if you have in that form then the denominator terms are nothing but your ds okay so how to write down this thing in that form simply you find out the lcm of 6 minus 3 and 4 you will come to know that the lcm of these three numbers is 12 to divide each thing by 12 so if you divide this thing by 12 this thing by 12 and this thing by 12 your equation will look like this x upon 2 equal to y upon minus 4 is equal to z upon 3 now if you look at this equation it is of the form x minus x1 upon a equal to y minus y1 upon b equal to z minus z1 upon c where your x1 y1 z1 is nothing but the point that is 0 0 0 and the denominator terms uh, 2 minus 4 and 3 are nothing but the drs of that line okay so here that's why drs of the axis will be 2 minus 4 and 3 okay and uh, the drs of the line oq because it is given that the uh, the cone is passing through this point 1 1 2 so we are having two points on this line so we can easily find out the drs of it by simply subtracting 1 minus 0 1 minus 0 2 minus 0 so drs will be 1 1 2 so we are having the drs of this line as well as so we are having drs of the both the lines so we can easily find out the angle between them okay so when you use the formula cos theta is equal to a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 and so on so you will get the value of cos theta as this 4 upon root of 174 okay now if you look at the thing now you are having the vertex you are having the theta and you are having the ds now you are having all the three terms initially we are not having theta but with the help of this point which is given to us we are getting the value of theta now okay now again once you have th these three things we will start with the point p x y z so now let p x y z be any point on the surface of the cone now once you have p on the surface of the cone you can find out the drs of it o and the drs of the line op by simply subtracting so since your o is 0 0 0 over here the drs of op will be x minus 0 y minus 0 z minus 0 that is it is x y z and drs of the axis already we know ds of the axis are 2 minus 4 3 okay so again if we use the formula cos of theta is equal to the same one a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 upon root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square for these two points for x y z and 2 minus 4 and 3 because the we know that the semi vertical angle is same throughout okay so if you use this formula uh, you are going to get something like this but already we know the value of cos theta we have got it as 4 upon root of 174 we are putting that value over here and again when you cross multiply and when you take the square on the both the side you are going to get something like this okay so this will be the answer only the thing over here that you are going to need while simplifying the thing is just remember it if you are having three terms or four terms and if you want to take the square of a plus b plus c The whole square. Then the formula is that we are going to need is a square plus b square plus c square plus two ab. All the combination you have to do. Take 
टू ए बी प्लस टू बी सी प्लस टू सी ए ओके तो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला दैट वी आर गोट टू नीड वाइल सिंप्लीफाइंग द थिंग ओके तो नाउ लेक्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ राइट सर्कुलर कोड विच हैज इट्स वर्टिक्स एट द पॉइंट जीरो जीरो ट्वेल्व एंड विज इंटरसेक्शन विद द एक्स वाई प्लेन इज द सर्कल ऑफ डायमीटर टेन नाउ अगेन एज आई टोल्ड यू वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट थ्री पॉइंट्स वर्टेक्स एंगल एंड द डी ऑफ द एक्सेस तो हियर वॉट इज गिवन टू अस जीरो जीरो ट्वेल्व इज द वर्टेक्स ओके और जीरो जीरो ट्वेल्व इज द वर्टेक्स मीन्स वॉट इट इज ऑन द जेड एक्सेस तो योर डायग्राम विल लुक लाइक दस तो डायग्राम प्लेज द इम्पोर्टेंट रोल प्लीज ट्राई टू ड्रॉ द डायग्राम इन प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ राइट सर्कुलर कोड फिफ्टी परसेंट प्रॉब्लम विल बी सॉल्व ओवर दे तो प्लीज डू इट ओके तो हियर दिस इज द वर्टेक्स जीरो जीरो ट्वेल्व दैट मीन और पॉइंट वर्टेक्स इज ऑन द जेड एक्सेस एंड वी नो दैट द एक्सेस इज द पॉइंट एक्सेस इज द लाइन विच इज पासिंग थ्रू द वर्टेक्स तो अवर एक्सेस इज नथिंग बट योर जेड एक्सेस ओके आई होप यू रिमेंबर द डी एस ऑफ द जेड एक्सेस आर जीरो जीरो वन डी आर्स ऑफ द एक्स एक्सेस आर वन जीरो जीरो डी आर्स ऑफ वाई एक्सेस आर जीरो वन जीरो ओके तो हियर वी नो द डी आर्स ऑफ द एक्सेस तो वी आर गेटिंग द फर्स्ट पॉइंट ऑल्सो वी आर हैविंग द वर्टेक्स वेरी गुड द वर्टेक्स ऑल्सो वी आर हैविंग नाउ नाउ ओनली द थिंग दैट इज लेफ्ट इज थीटा तो हमें थीटा फाइंड आउट करना पड़ेगा थीटा राइट नाउ वी डोंट हैव ओके तो थीटा कैसे फाइंड आउट कर सकते हो नाउ देर आर टू पेज एक्चुअली तो हियर वी नो दैट दिस डिस्टेंस इज ट्वेल्व दिस डिस्टेंस इज फाइव बिकॉज द डायमीटर इज टेन तो दिस डिस्टेंस विल बी फाइव तो बाई यूजिंग द पाइथागोरस थ्योरम यू कैन यूजली गेट दिस वैल्यू हाइपोटीनियस वैल्यू एज थर्टीन ओके एंड दिस इज द एंगल थीटा तो कॉस ऑफ थीटा इज वॉट एडजस्टेंट अपॉन हाइपोटीनियस तो इट विल गिव यू गेट इट एज ट्वेल्व बाई थर्टीन ओके दिस विल गिव द वैल्यू ऑफ कॉस थीटा एज ट्वेल्व बाई थर्टीन और you can what we can do is to get the value of cos theta here what i did um we can find out the ds of this line by simply subtracting these are the ds and then use the uh, formula cos of cos theta you will get the value of cos theta is 12 by 13 so now we are having vertex ds and the angle now let's start with the point p now let p x y z be any point on the surface of the cone now ds of the vpr simply subtracting uh, the points you are going to get it as x minus 0 y minus 0 z minus 12 will be the ds of vp ds of the axis already we know because it is a z axis it is 0 0 log in make use of the formula of cos theta put the put this value as a1 a2 a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 you are going to get cos theta is equal to this and but cos theta is 12 by 13 put that value over there cross multiply take this square and you will get the answer okay so that's it for today to so we'll stop here today thank you very much in the next lecture we are going to see examples on right circular cylinder thank you